So let's talk about impeller tip clearances. Uh, working on an XR machine right now. It's a complete rebuild, all new bearing, impeller, conical diffuser, everything. And uh, this is the last step before I really get on to closing this thing up forever. Well, at least for 10 years, hopefully. So when it comes to these feeler gauges and measuring your tip clearances, my eyes really suck. I wear magnifiers. So I do a little cheat for me. And this probably works for people who have uh, good eyesight. I take a felt marker and I just paint the tip of the feeler gauge. Then I'll take it and put it through on the tip. Like so. And if you can see that, a little bit of a scratch in there. So while it got in there, it was making good contact. So I'll sit there and I might flip down maybe to an 07 until it doesn't make contact. And then I'm, I'm really confident I have the right tip space. And of course when you're done, these are additive. You add these two. So in this case, we got an 11 and a 009. That's going to be a point, um, a point one, point zero one nine. You do that, and then you measure here and here and add those. That would be that. And then you just refer to your bulletin that gives you your range to find out if you're good. So again, quick tip on feeler gauges: if you can't see like me, a little black magic marker goes a long way. Have a good one.